Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne, we've got issue 40 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, things are getting excited now because we've got a lot of detail, which is why I'm wearing my glasses, because I'm not going to be able to see anything in this if, if you uh, take my advice on that. Well look, this is the sort of things we've got, we've got all the pedals, the back plate, uh, everything to do with the internal, including the uh, wire, which is going to make the brake light come on when we push the brake pedal. Uh, got quite a bit to do. If I just show you on the magazine here and try and tilt up one of the sides so that we don't get uh, the light flashing on it. There we go. Uh, this is everything we've got. I've already laid everything out because I need to check that we've definitely got everything. All the screws we need for this build is already part of the um, pack. So we haven't got to go and uh, raid our screw box. And in this little pack here... We've got a little pin and a spring. Um, but basically we're going to have one, two, three, four, four pages of stuff to do. Well, actually three pages and putting some things in there. So uh, it does look easy, but it re looks really fiddly, to be honest with you. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now, obviously I carpeted this thing the other day. So that's going to be the first thing that we need because we're going to be attaching the first pedal to it, which is the brake pedal. Um, you can tell the difference between these pedals because, um, just show you on one of these cameras, the brake pedal's got the uh, hole in the side. The clutch has obviously got a hole right at the end because the screw's going to be going through that. And, you know, you can't mistake the accelerator pedal because it's, uh, well, completely different to all the other ones. See that on there? Um, the other thing is make sure you put it in the right way. Obviously, the tread for the pedal is going to be facing up the other side. <laughs> you don't want to be putting it in the wrong way put it that way <laughs> okay so uh first thing we're going to do is putting the brake pedal in so we're going to be putting it in this hole here just like that uh, and let it come out quite away from the other side there because what we're going to be doing now which is step two is putting the pin in now we've got a pin in this little pack here with the spring so i'm being very gentle when i take this out because i've got a habit of losing springs but if you can see like this gets lost under my nail this is so tiny so, you know, when you feed this through this little hole here, which uh, isn't as easy as it sounds. <laughs> I knew this was going to be fun. Right, let's try that again. Feed that through the little hole. There we go, it's in now. So, once that pin's in the hole, you're going to sort of pull the pedal back so the pin sits in the recess there. I'm going to show you on what camera, it's probably the top camera. You see, I'm feeding that pin into the recess. And you know it's in because that will seat lovely embedded inside there. Okay, so that's the first part of one, step one and step two done and step three. Now step four, obviously we want to keep that in place. So we're going to be putting a clamp in. This is the clamp that we're going to be using. Uh, I don't know if this has got a part number. It says 40F. There we go. Uh, and it can only go in one way. It's going to basically go over these two holes here and hold that pin in. So if we put that in where it's going to go, just like that. Uh, and it's going to be secured in with AP screws, which is good because AP screws are right here. Uh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> right, what I'll do is if I can... There we go, look, it stands up perfectly. Let's get these AP screws out. Right, so two screws this is going to be going in. I'm just going to turn it around. So the first one goes in there. Perfect. And the second one. Once I've mounted it on, it goes in that hole there. Whoops. You're going to have to have patience with me on these videos, I think, because with the fiddly stuff, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get it right first time, am I? Okay. So that's the two AP screws in and we've got the brake pedal in there now. Now as you can see the brake pedal goes down and it goes up and it goes down but it doesn't actually spring back itself. We need a spring for that which is step five. We're going to be attaching the spring uh, and we're going to be screwing it in again with an AP screw. The spring is basically going to be attached to, let's have a look, uh, there's a really really tiny hole by the look of it and I can't see it myself. I'm going to have to have a look around oh i can see it there's a little tiny hole in the end of the brake believe me you're not going to see this on camera so trust me there's a tiny tiny hole in that brake um and the spring's basically got a little hook on one side and like a, a circle on the other it's the hook side that's going to go into that tiny hole i've got to try and thread it in they've got it going from 
Uh, if you look at this, they go, the, the hook's going in that way into the hole, not that way. I don't know if that makes a difference, but obviously I want to make sure it's right. Uh, but this is going to be fiddly as hell to put in. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm probably going to cut away while I'm trying to work this into the hole that I can hardly see. <laughs> that didn't take long at all, actually. I, I, perhaps I'll just speed, speed that video up when it comes to after production. <laughs> okay, so the uh, spring's all the way through, and obviously we've got this lined up and this hole here with the loop to put in an AP screw again. So uh, this is going to be step six. We're going to be putting an AP screw in that hole, so it's going to go through the spring into the hole. So hopefully I can get this done first time. Okay, it's gone in, so that's a good sign. Okay, if you do it too much, obviously the spring starts to bend, but I'm guessing that's a good thing, because if the spring starts to bend like that, obviously it springs back perfectly on the uh, pedal there. So the tighter you do it, the, uh, the more the spring's gonna give a bit more resistance. There we go. So that was step uh, six. Right, step seven, we're going to be putting the clutch pedal in. This is the clutch pedal here. Uh, again, make sure the tread's up, and that's going to be going in that hole there. Just like that. Oh, let's just get that in. Now, obviously, where I put the carpet in, I've got to uh, make sure that that's going to go in all the way, and obviously it's lined up as well. Now, as I said, the good thing when I did this about using felt is that uh, it's quite forgiving. So you can do what I've just done there and pushed it in. Uh, but when that's in, that's going to be put in with an AP screw again. So we'll put a screw through that hole there. And put that in. Just get it started and then I'm going to have to hold it from both sides there. Okay, there you go. And there's the advantage of using felt because it's very forgiving. And uh, obviously, I've just, uh, I didn't have to make a cut. I just uh, parted it a little way and then put it in. So that's basically uh, step seven done. And step eight, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing on this side, but we're going to be putting in the uh, accelerator pedal into there. So once again, I'm just going to open up this hole here. Let's show you what I did actually. Uh, just open up the hole of the uh, felt. It's quite easy to do. Because this is going to be going in uh, this way round into here. Okay, so that's the accelerator pedal in, and I'm going to attach that now with a screw. This is going to be step eight with an AP screw again. Can only go in one way. Let's put that uh, pedal in. Whoops, the daisies. Go on, this is fiddly, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so that's the three pedals in. Can you see that okay? All three pedals in. Said the uh, brake pedal's slightly lower than the other one. Um, don't quite know what that is. It won't go up any further, but uh, there you go. That's what it looks like on my one. But uh, that's basically steps one to eight completed. Uh, step nine, we're going to start putting some electrics in because, as I said, this brake pedal here, when we press it down, is going to fire off the uh, the brake light and stuff. So uh, we need to make sure that that's going to be uh, nice and uh, secure. So this is the uh, switch here. Now, I have heard that some people have had solder break away from the ends here. As you can see, mine's okay, but it might be something to work, uh, look out for when you've got your one here. Um, just seeing how this goes in. It can only go in one way because... Um, it's going to be sitting in the recess of just this section just here, if you can see that. Probably on the side camera's better. And it's going to be going in just like that. Because what's going to happen is, when that brake pedal goes down, it's going to fire up this bit of plastic here, which is going to hit that contact. And when it hits that contact, it closes it, which turns the brake pedal on. So that's going to go in just like that, and that's going to be secured in with an AP screw. So uh have to bear with me, because the thing wants to keep coming out which is usual. I'll get an AP screw. I know what you're all asking. Why the hell have you got a chicken skewer there? <laughs> to make holes. <laughs> okay. Putting that in, but I'll just put it in lightly just so I can get that to seat in exactly where it needs to be. Then I can tighten it up perfectly. Okay, there we go, that's in. So that's the switching, that was step um, nine. 
Now step 10, we're going to be putting this through this little bit here, being very gentle not to pull those wires because we're going to be putting a tab over that. Now they sent us three big tabs and one small tab. It's the small tab we're going to be using. Uh, basically the screw goes into the bigger of the hole. So, uh, so sorry, the smaller of the hole. So we're going to be putting the bigger end, uh, the, the little nipple here onto the bigger end there. And then that just goes across just like that. Perfect. When it is fiddly, you notice I hold the screwdriver slightly different, like I would a pen, just for detail work really. But that's that one in just like that. Lovely jubbly. Uh, and then basically we're going to be attaching um, this unit here to the carpet unit that we done earlier on. This is where I'm going to have to do some tidying up. I am aware of that uh, because this is going to be fitting in here and I want this carpet to fit fit nice and flush so let me just show you before I do that it's going to be fitting in just like here uh, just onto here and it's going to be fitting in with uh, what screws BP screws which haven't even opened yet you've got three points to connect this to and to these three points here so what we're going to do is get cracking on that get the BP screws out now I'm probably going to put the center one in first because uh, that's going to be the hardest bit of this carpet bit to do so it's a bit fiddly because I've got that wire still going all over the place. But let's get that one in first. It actually screws in from the bottom upwards, just so you know. Now when I do this and it catches, it's going to pull all of that down. So uh, that's why I want to make sure that I've got this lined up correctly. So... That is the first screw and I'm not screwing it in completely because I said I want to line this carpet up to make sure that we've got no folds or bends where I want it to be. So I'm just laying that down there. Obviously if you're not carpeting your vehicle you're not going to have this problem. But I do want to make sure that this is in exactly as I want it. Okay so it's going to look like that. We're going to put the second one in. So I'm probably going to go over the end that was up a little bit there which is this end here. Put the uh, screw in there. I'm holding it like a pen again, because I said this is detailed. And then we'll get that started. Whoops, the daisies. I've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> you can see how fiddly this is now, can't you? There we go, that's just caught, so I'm tighten that up a little bit. Bring that slightly down. I'm just going to look at that carpet again. Yep, I'm happy with that. And last but not least, we do this side here and then I'll tighten everything up. So again, put that in the hole there. Don't even want to go in the hole, this one. Right, there we go. I'm holding this like a pen again. Just to its core, which it has. Excellent. Oops, drop your screwdriver. Right, and then we'll screw that in. Right, I'm going to tighten them all up completely now. So that's one in. Number two's in. And last but not least, number three's in. There we go. Now, it looks pretty good. I've got a little bit of tidying up just to do here, as you can see. So I just press those in. I'm being fussy because all of that's going to be covered, but you know, I'm. Uh, I want to make sure that it looks good from where I'm standing on this side. So, uh, but there we go. That's uh, that's what that looks like there. I think the only thing I said, all of this is going to be hidden here. I'm going to just tidy up that edge just there, I think. That's all I need to do. But other than that, looking pretty cool. Uh, so that was step 11 and 12. And step 13, basically, we're going to be running this lead here all the way down the centre console like that. They've left a little bit of uh, wire sort of laps just like that. So that's actually, can you see that on the side camera probably? So I've bent that in a little bit there. And then obviously we're going to be putting these things in here and uh, screwing them in all the way down. So... Put the first one in they put all of theirs so the screws are to the right these are going to be secured with ap screws 
and you know how fiddly these are so this is going to be interesting i'm gonna can you see it that way yeah perfect All right okay so we put this one in once I've got the first one started, obviously, it's going to be a lot easier because this wire won't be going all over the place. <laughs> but. Okay, that's the first one in. I think now I'll put the last one in. Whoops. It goes in like that. And then again, I load up my screw. Can you see how fiddly this model is? <laughs> and then last but not least, we've got this one. Uh, some of you may be asking, how comes your carpet's overloading, uh, overlapping the edges? Uh, I've done that deliberately because it's better to cut it too big than too short. And I can always shave that off afterwards. So, uh, but to be honest with you, it's not going to be seen. You've got to remember that uh, all of the... Hang on, I'm just going to get this in. I'll start it off. All of the stuff that you see where I've overlapped on, on the top here and just on this bit here and this is all is all going to be covered with things. So you're not going to see it. So I'd rather have more than less sort of things. So. Uh, but there we go. That's all we needed to do in this issue. Looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, that was step... 12 completed and step 13 was just putting the wire through so that my friends is issue 40 i'm going to do issue 41 uh today but i'm going to put them out every day now because i don't want to swamp you with videos and we still got r2d2s to build as well uh but i hope you like that video take care